a psychotherapist and becoming an ordained minister. The combination of these diverse influences transformed Dr. Will Miller into one of the most insightful, most entertaining speakers in the world. A frequent guest on a variety of television talk shows, Dr. Miller is a published author, a contributor to Entertainment Weekly magazine, and a spokesperson for the National Institute of Mental Health, and is our special guest today. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Will Miller. It's great to be here at the Mandalay Bay. I left my room at uh, about 8 o'clock this morning, got here about a half an hour ago. It's about a six-mile walk. Uh, you know, when you hear my background... Uh, they say in show business you need a good hook. I believe I'm America's only full-time therapist, minister, comedian working today. That's a pretty good hook. But you have to know I've pursued those professions separately and distinctly from each other. I didn't set out to be a therapist, minister, comedian. I'm not completely psychotic. But I have had some pretty interesting career clashes. In 1990, for example, I was working on the Lower East Side of Manhattan in New York City, where I'm from, and I was working as a therapist at a crack cocaine clinic, working mostly with psychotic crack addicts don't recognize any faces uh, here today. And then at night, I was the MC and performing regularly at the comic strip and the improvisation in New York City. I was doing stand-up comedy at night. The comedians used to say, you must get great material from your day job. I come from an allegedly functional family, okay? I'm one of uh, seven kids from Brooklyn, New York. My grandfather was a lieutenant in the New York Fire Department. I came from this blue-collar background of firefighters and cops and teachers and, you know, whatever. And uh, my family really valued education. That was their thing. And so all seven of us grew up and went to college. And, um, and then after college, uh, well, you remember the draft lottery during Vietnam? I was number one. I won the lottery. Some people win a, yes, yeah, some people win a money lottery. I won the draft lottery. Well, anyway, not surprisingly, all the kids in my family, the seven brothers and sisters, met their significant others around this time. You guys can relate to this, right? And then we did what Americans have been doing for years and years. We all moved away to do our life with our other. Today, the seven kids in our family live in seven different states. My parents lived in an eighth until they began a disturbing trend of what we considered stalking relationships don't go away, even the hard ones. And if you are having trouble with your mood, if you're too up, you're too down, you're too depressive, you're too anxious, you can't float straight, I would submit that you're having a crisis of love, but not the kind of love the culture deifies. When I find my other, all will be well. No, you won't. The kind of love that actually made you who you are. Even if your family was full of chaos, you had a variety, a smorgasbord of relationships, a big, fat Greek wedding set of relationships somewhere, sometimes, school, home, somewhere, that enabled you to have your psyche settle and float right. Preserve it. God bless you, folks. Hope you have a great meeting. Thank you.